Welcome, Centennial Hawks, to the Deadheads Halloween special, where today we'll be talking about the Gabby Petito case. I'm joined with my co-host... Alize, and Paul is here too, if you haven't figured that out. Yeah, I'm, I'm the one talking, obviously. So, <laughs> let's get this started. Um, I think the best place to start, obviously, is the beginning, not the end. So, June 2021, uh... Gabby Petito and Brian Laundrie set out for a cross-country trip that was supposed to take two months. They plan to visit the West Coast to visit all of the national parks, you know. Yeah, as one does, just traveling. Yeah. But their trip would be cut short as on August 20th in Mobe, Utah, police had an encounter with Petito and Laundrie where they were described of having a physical fight after an argument that was called in by bystanders. That's very weird. And she was actually described to be the instigator of that fight, which... Which makes no sense, if yeah. you ask me. She was a small girl. Exactly. And then on September 11, 2021, Gabby Petito is report reported missing by her family after she failed to return the call from her, cro return from her cross-country trip. Around the end of August, Petito's regular contact with the family had stopped. Which was very unlike Petito. She would always call home, check up on her family. So obviously, from the beginning, her family already had suspicion that something was not right. Yeah, and, you know, never someone's out of character, something happened. Yeah, so. and on September 16th, 2021, letter read by the Petito family attorney that had asked Laundrie's family to help in the investigation for looking for Gabby. The day after the Laundrie family confesses that they haven't seen Brian since September 14th. Upon further investigation, Brian's parents believe that Brian left the hike on September 13th, not 14th. Suspicious, if you ask me. Very suspicious. Yes. On September, uh, September 19th, 2021, human remains were discovered in Tenton County, consistent with the description of Petito. It was 100% her. This is awful. Then following the following day, September 20th, though, so, th so this is going really fast. Yeah. September 20th, 2021, Brian Laundrie's parents are questioned. Police acquire a search warrant. Nothing was found to assist the investigation. So this is definitely hinting that Laundrie had something to do with it yeah. and it wasn't with his family mm -hmm. on september 23rd 2021 federal arrest warrant was issued for brian laundries brian was a suspect for using pin and credit card information that did not belong to him charges were made more than a thousand dollars between august 30th and september 1st almost a month later on october 12th 2021 autopsy confirmed that petito's death was caused by strangulation so this wasn't a natural death it was it was it, it was, was a murder yeah Petito's body was found outside in the wilderness for about three or four weeks before she was found. And before we move on from that, apparently they found a whole bunch more bodies while they were out there looking for Gabby Petito. I know. And then with National Forest, too, there's so many places where you can just dump a body. It's horrible. That's that's and so it's sad. Awful. Yeah. On October 20. Oh. October 20th, 2021, human remains and personal items were discovered in an area that had been underwater. These personal belongings were laundries. That's very, very scary. On October 21st, FBI announced that skeletal remains were found and were indeed consistent with Brian's description. That is all the information that we have currently. But let's go ahead and go on to these theories. Yes, what do you this, think? this still is an ongoing investigation. So there could be a lot more information and we will update you when we find more. So what do you think happened? Like, okay, we all know that that was strangling. But do you think it was Laundry? Do you think it was someone else? Because Laundry was never really found to be the person that did it. I mean, you really look at all the facts that are presented with us. I mean, the 911 call of him reporting, like, someone seeing him reportedly hit her. Yeah. And then her, you look at the 911, like, police body cam, and she is so afraid. You can see the fear straight out of her face. And she, she's honestly, it's a cry for help, and the police completely dismissed it and put her instead as the instigator. Yeah, and I definitely thought that was completely wrong in the police's end. And do you think there might have been, like, police involving in this? Because, like, no way that, that there was a skeleton three, a month later after. After he had just ran away, yeah. yeah. And, I mean, you look at all the information. He, one, returned with her van that she had personally bought to his family, didn't contact her family or anything, then left again. I mean, he's running away because he knows what he did. Yeah, but... Are those his skeletal remains? Because, you know, like that could have happened. But if it's not, where would he be now? And how has he not been caught? Because, you know, like this is such a huge case that yeah. everyone knows about. And I had also read that Brian Laundrie had spent a lot of his time like out in the national forest. So he knows how to be a survivalist. He knows yeah. what it takes to like hide out and yeah. like live under. It's not a first time thing for him. Yeah. 
So I, I definitely think that he had in like an involvement in it because he's running away, he has her car, he's on the run, and now he's just dead. I mean, no way that just happens like that. Maybe they're just trying to like cover for him or something. I don't mm -hmm. know. I definitely think that the police they might not be involved, but they definitely are siding more with him. Because there's no way that like you find a skeleton and you're like, oh yeah, this is the dude that died like four that weeks we've been ago. that we've been looking for for a month. Yeah, like, no. Because, like, a body would decompose in, like, you know, two months. I, if you said two months, I'd probably believe you more because, you know, that's, like, and 62 days. They found his belongings that remained to him, but I I mean, he, that could have been, he could have just left him there yeah, and then walked away, it. you know? Exactly. He could have seen a dead body, just left it right next to it. And there's no it. way that he would just be, like, you know, oh, yeah, this will be easy. I just jump off my stuff. Like, he's not that dumb. If he's already been in National Forest, he knows, he knows his way around. Yeah. <clears throat> and no one would be dumb enough to just, I don't know. Yeah. So I 100% believe, and of course this is all my personal opinion because, Yeah. but I think he had everything to do with it. He's the reason that Gabby is no longer here with us. Yep. And that's so sad. And condolences to her family and everyone involved in the case. That is an awful experience to go through, especially for just investigators and everything. Cause that is a tough job. Mm -hmm. But we're running towards the end, Hawks, so until next time, we'll catch you later. Well, Hawks, that's all of the information we have. We'll see you next time. Or, or not. not.